this traveling backpacker has a dachshund with him like I do, and he's hugging and kissing him, and the rain just stopped, and he wiped down his dog with a towel. I see this quite often, a traveler either backpacking or in a vehicle, traveling with no one else but a dog. I had a dachshund I raised from a puppy, and she grew into a confident, fearless, and friendly dog. But this girl is an 11-year-old rescue. I've had her since she was five. I was told that she had a sheltered life in an apartment with an elderly lady. She's had at least one litter of puppies before I got her, and her previous owner had her vocal cords removed, which is called debarking. So when she barks, she sounds more like a Canadian goose. Because her formative years were sheltered, she does get frightened easily, and she's shy. But that really hasn't affected our travels. There are sacrifices you have to make regardless of your dog's personality. Carlsbad Caverns was the first national park I'd, I'd been to that doesn't allow dogs anywhere. Some national parks will have certain trails or attractions that are not dog-friendly. Uh, and there was also a sign at Carlsbad that said, No pets left in the car. So I checked the on-site kennel they had there, which turned out to be even worse than the way people described it on the Internet. It was basically a utility closet with tiny cages. And to top it off, the woman in there was slamming boxes around, which this nervous little monkey would freak out about. So that kennel would have been traumatizing for her. And the sign said, don't leave pets in the car, so I didn't, even though it's fairly cool out. I know from watching other videos that if you get in trouble in one national park, you run the risk of being banned from all of them. I avoid visiting any attractions that would keep me away from her for a long period of time. I love museums and normally would spend an entire day in one, but now I kind of rush through them. I've had her in the car with the air conditioner on, and I use the club so the car can't be stolen since the keys are in there with the air when the air is on. I also cover the windows when she's in the car alone so she's not frightened or harassed by anyone walking by. I'd love to have cameras inside of my car to check on her when I leave her in there. I know it's possible to do and I'm going to look into that. But I've left dogs in cars with the air conditioner on hundreds of times without any problems. She doesn't have any health issues that I have to deal with on the road, but she does need to have her nails trimmed every three weeks because she has long quicks and they can't cut her nails short, so she needs to go more often. And she has one toenail that tends to curve and grow into her pad, so I can't neglect that. I used to go to a groomer near my house that only charged five bucks, but now on the road I go to a PetSmart or Petco because they're everywhere and you can just walk in any time. The only thing to know is that either store won't touch your animal without proof of uh, rabies vaccination. But I just gave them the vet's phone number and they called directly. And then they put the information in the system and you're good in any PetSmart or Petco after that. She seems to love being on the road. I've had no major issues she did have a day of vomiting one time, and I just made myself aware of the location of the nearest veterinarian, but she recovered on her own before too long. Despite the sacrifices, I'm glad I have her with me. I'd be very lost and lonesome without her.